All right, don't worry about the Knicks. So this is your boy, Chris, with the Knicks. All right, so I want to talk about the whole Queens Court mess and the whole Monique situation. All right, so I just got my phone back. I accidentally threw it in the washing machine, but, you know, we make mistakes. Anyways, got to upgrade. I like this one. All right, so enough about me. All right, so the whole Queens Court, I watched both uh, side videos, T.S. Madison's. The Queen's Court thing and um, Kai's reaction. Now, like T.S. Madison said, there's three sides to a story that yours, mine, and the truth. And a lot, I watch both. And the truth is, I also watch Tasha Unwind with Tasha K and Lovely Tees. Um, shout out to them. Uh, Black History Month. Also, the Black Panther movie. All right, so like Tasha K said, I do feel like Kaya is um, self-sabotaged her own career. Now, why do people feel like if Tasha K was coming for Kaya when Kaya always coming for somebody else? She was just merely telling the truth. Because if you look at the whole, first of all, let's take it back to my neck, my back. After my neck, my back. The only reason why that went popular because at the time, um, she out nasty Lil Kim because Lil Kim had the notorious KIM album, you know, and stuff with how many licks and whatever. And then people were saying that Kai, we didn't hear from her because she died from AIDS. You know, the early 2000s rumors, just like Lil Kim getting her stomach pumped. So then, years later, when YouTube started to become popular, she started doing vlogs on that tired leather couch. And around the same time, she um, Janet Jackson came out with her 20 YL album. She had a song on there called So Excited. That song it originally was not supposed to have no, it was a solo song. It was already written. And Kaya, what had happened was Jermaine Dupree suggested to Janet that they should have some, you know, type of female rapper on there. And... I think Janet's initial reaction was Missy Elliott, but Jermaine feel like Janet, um, Missy is family. We, you've done so many songs with her. Let's get somebody else some more clout. So that's when he called in Kaya because he knew Kaya. Kaya can flow. Kaya got that, you know, that nasty flow on him. And so that's what they did. And then BET had the all access, you know, like MTV behind the scenes are making a music video. And then they show Kaya, and Kaya was sitting there giving props to Janet, saying, I love Janet, I'm a big fan, all that. And so then they shot Kaya. Then after this video comes out, a video, a YouTube video later, of Kaya saying that, oh, Janet will never be Mariah, Mariah did not sold you, which is stupid because both Janet and Mariah sell the same amount of records, if not higher at one time, you know, that's like comparing two diamonds to each other. One is blue, one is pink. I mean, come on, both are diamonds. Both of them have Walk of Fame, something that Kyle will probably never get, let alone some awards. So, what we found out is that, you know, Kyle saying defamatory stuff about Janet saying that, oh, Janet was just scared that Jermaine was going to uh, date Kyle and not her first of all i don't think jermaine be stupid enough to downgrade from janet jackson to some kite come on now second of all the in the video you know janet jackson is known for her dancing and she knows how to dance really fast kaya does them tired ass two step club clubbing two steps so with all that fast dancing and that tired ass two step where was she supposed to fit in, in the video the tv the tv you know, they you read she wrote her own verses to the song at the at the song that was already created. I'm pretty sure the video they already had a concept. There was nowhere where else she was gonna go in. So Kylie, you made yourself not only look stupid, you potentially ruined no, you didn't potentially, you just ruined your chances of having some other major success. You could have been on somebody else's shit featured. You could have had a, a, a label deal, you could have a, a lot of things for you going. Now you can only ride in that tired ass van. 
you know, doing a club in Compton cookout for pharmacists. Not saying that's anything bad, but come on now. You, you could have been on a different caliber. And then she's saying that Trina put the first diss out of her. No, Trina, technically, she did put out the first diss of what's beef. But that's only because Kai went in the Ozone magazine, the early hip-hop magazine, and started talking shit about Trina and Jack Yo. And then Trina said, you know, why is she saying my name? I don't know her. Why is she dissing me? I ain't got no problems with her. So then they went back and forth with that. And then Trina was dating Lil Wayne, which Kaya had liked Lil Wayne for some time. And then so after that, um, now with this whole Queens Court thing, this is this could have been potentially another milestone. This could have been like another... Having Monique on there, I don't care what they say about Monique. Monique deserved her Oscar. Monique is a legend in her own right, despite what's all going on. Um, this could have potentially been something bigger. But Kaya, you know, she walked out. And then T.S. Madison said that when it came in, she didn't know nothing about, like, she was saying what's on the docket. Now, not to throw Kaya too much on the bus, I do believe what Kaya is saying that you can't trust everybody in your home. And just because people say they know how to do something, they can do it. I will give her that. That is true. They should have been tested all that out before they went on. But like T.S. Med- but like T.S. Madison was saying, that the format was supposed to be changed because, you know, it was going to be stupid for them to be holding up an iPad and stuff. And, you know, that shit is stupid. They were supposed to be side by side, and then at people, after the whole escape thing, people was copying them, like the on-site with Ra Ali. So you have to, um, when everybody's doing something, you know, you got to change up stuff so no, nobody will copy you uh, verbatim, word for word. Which is true. And then, t- and then Kaya was being shady, you know, she walked out, and then she went on that video, so, you know, on her uh, Instagram talking about tech volunteers to Maddie's page because I'm going to block you. And then she ended up blocking T.S. Madison for no reason. And like Tasha K said, if T.S. Madison wants to do bigger, you're going to have to drop Kaya. Because Kaya is not trained for none of that. You know, she getting her feelings. You know, she not made out, she not cut out for this. You know, she want to roast and gag, but then somebody goes back in on her and she can't take it. Like Monique was laughing. At the whole situation. But then again. Why would a Monique laugh? They put her on the docket. And they roasted her. And then Kaya went as far as making fun of her rape allegation. Her getting raped by her brother. You know. See that's what's blocking Kaya's blessings. And if T.S. Madison does want to do better. You're going to have to drop Kaya. You know. People say you shouldn't work with Kaya. You shouldn't. Even though all that stuff happening, you know, you can tell T.S. Madison is still trying to keep it cool with Kaya. But Kaya, you know, just by her being messy, you know, she blocked T.S. Madison. She ain't talked to Kaya over a week. You know, you're going to have to drop her. I'm sorry. We already even told you this. You know, you have a lot of like, stuff. You went from ground zero up to the top. You have people, uh, you know, a carpool show, the black version of the... Um, Carpool karaoke, you know, and Kaya, I feel like it's only diminishing what you can accomplish. So then they're supposed to be coming back March 19th. I want to see how that's going to go. Um, a lot of people saying they're already over it. You know, I don't think they should wait that long. I think she should just get somebody else different and host the Queen's Court and, you know, keep doing bigger and better things. And let Kaya stay on her tired ass of a leather couch. You know, people like Tasha K and other people, they just keeping it real on Kaya. Kaya sabotaged her own damn career because of her mouth or whatever else. Not saying that people haven't done nothing to her, but, you know, Kaya can be reckless at some time. Just like with the whole Michael Jackson thing, you know, she released some Dirty Diana thing and a little rap and a lot of people wasn't feeling it. Then she gonna come and diss Michael Jackson talking about he's six feet under, his face is decrepit, you know, 
if people wasn't feeling it, first of all, if you gonna cop, if you gonna cover somebody like a Michael Jackson, a Whitney Houston, a Prince, a Beyonce, you gonna have to have a quality because you already know the fans gonna roast you if it's not a quality. These are not just some people you can just, you know, put some stuff out and be like, oh well, it's that person, so we don't care. No, it needs to be a quality. If she sabotaged her own career on Twitter again, always sabotaging her her own career. So that's my take on it. What y'all feel about it? Comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. Today, this is me, your boy, Chris, with the next. Peace.